The next thing I'd like to talk about are the use of tripods. Now, tripods are something that we're really not interested in. As a general rule, we like to think we can get away without a tripod. But I want to make the case that the tripod is probably one of the most essential components of an effective photo. I think we all realize that tripods were designed to be to provide stability for our images. Because when we pick up a camera and we try and take a picture, there's blood pumping through our fingers and we can't hold the, the camera as stable as we would like. And so tripods help us to create much more stable images. But I'd also like to say that tripods are much more important than just for providing stability. Tripods are probably your best compositional tool for creating effective photographs. One of the nice things about using a tripod is that you can look through your camera and spend some time studying inside, inside the viewfinder and looking around and saying, is this what I want to hang on my wall? And as you look through that viewfinder and start paying attention, you begin to notice there's sticks pointing in. Oh, there's this guy with a bright red jacket standing in the background. And by taking the time with a tripod, you can dial things in, move it a little bit this way or a little bit that way to get the picture framed exactly as you want it. And that is essential. When you're hand holding it and bouncing around and looking through it, not as much care is given. The tripod causes you to slow down and to think about what you're taking, as well as a stability issue. The stability is important if you're going to be taking photos during sunrise or sunset or even of waterfalls and you're needing these longer exposures. You simply can't handhold them. So then, if a tripod is important, what should you be looking for in a tripod? Again, you don't need to spend the earth to get a good tripod. A couple of things that I look for in a good tripod are firstly, since I spend a lot of time with my tripod, I'm looking for one that is as close to eye level as possible. Not that I always shoot at eye level, but often I'm standing on a hill that's dropping down in front of me and I have to put the tripod in front of me and having that extra height has saved me more times than I can tell you. Another aspect that I always look for in a tripod is one that uh, does not have a center post. Many of, of the camera, or many of the tripods that people are using today have a long post sticking down and then they raise it up when they need it. Well, that effectively turns this into a monopod, which becomes a lot less stable. And so I want one without any center pole. As well, I look for a tripod that has a hook on the bottom. And this hook I use all the time. I don't know about you, but uh, I find being out in the mountains can often be quite windy. And so I will take off my big backpack, attach it to this hook, fill it with some weight, and then I have some great stability in my tripod and uh, can take pictures in some of the most extreme conditions. Another thing that I look for is a tripod that, that will allow me to get low enough. And I mentioned that whole idea of having a tripod uh, with a center post. When you have a center post, you can't actually get the tripod down very low. But with a tripod like this, without a center post, you can get them so they're designed to put the legs completely flat. And with a flat leg, you can actually go right down to the same level as the flowers and shoot them at that height, which simplifies the whole idea of taking uh, photographs both high and low, and you're able to cover the entire spectrum with that. The other thing that I would say is essential with a tripod is the idea of having a good strap. If I have to carry this around, this tripod probably weighs about six pounds right here, which on a long hike that could feel quite cumbersome. But by having a good shoulder strap, and this one is made by the company Pelican, I can throw it over my shoulder, and then at that point, if I hold it, hold it right up top, I can barely feel it. And I can hike 15, 20 miles with it on my shoulder, and it really doesn't bother me. So this is what I'm looking for. As I said, this is probably one of my most important tools for getting an effective photo. You can get a cheap tripod, 
and uh, they'll work for you. But I would say if you do that, still look for some way, some hook, some means of holding it down and making it steady. And get one that you can be comfortable looking through the viewfinder to compose that image. Because if you're going to be spending a lot of time looking through that viewfinder, you're going to want one that isn't so low that you're breaking your back. Many people tell me that what they want is a lightweight tripod. Well, that's an oxymoron. Uh, lightweight means that it's not stable. And so try and figure out what can you carry in terms of weight and work with that. But you want a stable tripod if you're going to be effective at landscape photography. <laughs>